Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Lanfear, and in this video we are looking at the unit 5 slash unit 4. I know these unit numbers are mixed up. Um, but under the unit 5 tab, the create a table assignment. So for this assignment, we're going to, they're going to give us code that kind of sets up this table for us. And we're going to revise and change the code to something like this. So applying different um, background colors to the different cells, changing up the text, applying font. Um, different font styles to the different text and the different cells, so lots of good stuff with this assignment. So first we need to set up our code. Um, we'll open this table code here and copy and paste it into a new notepad and then save it as table.html in our unit 4 folder. So again, follow. make sure you're following the directions for what folders to save these in. Um, the unit numbers got changed when I added some information, so always follow the directions when you're setting up your folders. So let's grab their code. I'm going to highlight all of this. Control C to copy, get a new notepad, and we'll paste it in there. And it says to, <coughs> excuse me, save this as in our web design portfolio unit 4 folder. We're naming this tables.html. Minimize that, close that. So, oh, and I actually named mine wrong. It's supposed to be table.html. So just so I don't throw myself off later, I'm going to go in and fix that. So that later on when I have to use link to that table assignment, I don't uh, get thrown off. All right, so let's open that up and just see what that looks like so far. Make sure the code came through okay. Unit 4. I'm going to go ahead and delete this tables one because I misnamed it and open up the table singular document and see what that looks like. All right, so here's that code when I open it up into a browser. So the code that they supplied me with in the text, this is what it looks like. And so now we're going to make some changes to it to make it our own. So we'll go to the next page here. Locate these, or follow these steps to change the color. So we need to change the background color, the text, the font properties of cell 1. Locate the part of the CSS code that identifies the properties of our table 1 background. Change the background color, font size, and text color of your choice. So in our code, we're finding the table 1 style named table 1, and we're going to change these properties of that style. So it looks like we're going to, going to need our, um, where's that, I have my chart of colors is what I'm looking for. So hopefully by now you have that chart of colors saved. If you don't, um, you might want to go back into previous videos to find out where we get that chart of colors. It's There's usually a link to it in each of the assignments. Um, I know in the colors website assignment there's a link to it, the invitation assignment there's a link to it. So you can go back to one of those old assignments to download and save that. So again, we're changing our background color, font size, and the, this color applies to our font. So we're going to change all of those properties. So I'm going to go look at my chart here. Uh, and again, you can choose any colors you want. Um, I'm, I think I always go with purple shades. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of purple, so I'm going to stick with my shades of purple. Make my background a dark purple. Make my font this kind of, let me find a lighter than purple. We can always go back in and change this if we don't like it. So I changed my background color, the text color, so now I need to change my font size. Okay. I have those three things changed. Locate the table width and change to 50%. So looking at my code, skimming through this, I'm going to guess that table width comes in, oh, here I see the word width equals 100%. So we're going to 
narrow this down a little bit so we don't want it as wide. You'll notice on this tab it fills up it fills up 100% of our screen. So no matter what size we make our screen, you can see it adjusts to that 100%. And so now if we put 50%, it's going to only take up 50% of our screen width. So we changed our width to 50%. Locate the HTML code for cell 1 and change the table row and table data to make changes to the text. So we're looking for our first cell. So here's my first row and here's that first cell within the row. And it says my. And so they have my name is Jane. And you can kind of make this to say anything you want. You get basically four letters. Um, I'm going to stick with what our example looked like on the very first page. Um, let's get there a little faster, please, Internet. So in the demonstration, I think it says, I am a teacher. Um, so I'm going to replace my with I. And you can put, I am a teacher, I am a rock star, whatever it is you want to say um, in your table. So for this first part, we changed the properties of our first cell. We changed the background color, the font size, the text color. We changed the width to 50%. We changed the code um, data in that first cell to make changes to the text. Let's go ahead and save that and see where we're at. Unit 4, Unit 5. Let's check it out. All right, so this was our original. And again, we changed the width. So this took up, it was set at 100%. So to take up 100% of your, um, your window. We changed it to 50%. So now it only takes up half of our window. And you'll notice that as we change our window, it adjusts to the size of the window because we used a percentage. If we were to set it at a certain number of pixels, um, it would stick to that pixel size. So if we set it to a percentage, it adjusts to the size of the screen. And so then I made the adjustments in this first cell here. Um, a dark purple background with light purple. Changed the text in there. Um, so we're good to go with those first couple steps of the assignment. Let's see what's next. Okay, so on this last page is where we download the rest of the assignment. So we can click on this link, Create Table Graded Assignment, and that will give you a Word document. So now we need to follow the rest of the ins these instructions to finish up our table. So after following the unit 4 instructions about creating tables, complete these instructions to create a simple table like the one shown in the lesson. So we need to make changes in the code by defining the CSS styles for the remaining three cells. We're going to make changes in the code by changing the text for, remaining the three, for the remaining three cells. We're going to save this, keep it as table.html in our unit 4 folder. Open it up in our browser. Since there are no images, we won't need to zip it. We just submit that HTML file. All right, so let's get our code back open here. So now it's telling us, so we've already made the changes in this first style. We I used a dark purple for my background color, a lighter purple for my font, and I changed the size of my text. So now for this table background two, I'm going to change it up again. Um, I'm probably going to stick with my purple theme, so you can either go with purple or choose a different color. Okay, so I just finished kind of replacing my own colors for these table background colors and my own um, color for the font. I changed the font size. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change up, and I really am not a fan of Times <laughs> New Roman, so I'm going to change um, my font families. And I'm going to use Verdana. And I'm going to just copy and paste that because I want all of them to be, well, maybe I'll copy and paste it in just a couple of them. Oh, wait, it looks a little different in each cell. So let's save that and open it up and see what we get. And so when we open that up, here's the adjustments I made in my table. So I have my Background 1 is applied to this cell, background 2 applied to this cell, background 3 applied to this cell, and background 4 applied to this cell.
looks pretty good. So let's see what else we have to do in our instructions here. So we made changes in our CSS styles for the remaining cells. Uh, now we're going to make changes in the code by changing the text for the remaining three cells. So I need to go back to my code. And the text within the code is what we're going to change here. So I already changed um, the first cell. We did that in the instructions in the text. And now I'm going to change name to am is to a and Jane. I'm going to actually put in rockstar. Okay, <laughs> Jane. So you can kind of put in there whatever you want. Um, school appropriate. Save in your unit for folder as table.html. Should still be saved like that. Open it in our browser. And just to kind of double check everything one more time. And so if we get that. Oops, I didn't save this, so let's save it one more time. Then go in, open it up. And here's our new table. So again, I changed the font styles, changed the background colors, changed the font colors, changed the text within the font, and there you have it. That should be your end result. should look similar to this, again, depending on the verbiage you chose to do. So once we are done with that, view the table in your browser, make sure it looks okay. Since there are no images, we don't need to zip the file. We can just submit that table.html folder. So when you go to submit this, you're just submitting, you're going to attach this HTML file called table. And you should be good to go.